Your voices have been heard, folks. On my recent graphics card reviews, the voices have been loud and clear about the current CPU bottleneck of my i9-9900K here in late 2022 with these new graphics cards, even gaming on the latest titles at 4K with ray tracing and all of that stuff turned up. Still, there is a massive CPU limitation which is restricting me from being able to test graphics cards in the best case scenario possible. So therefore, I'm gonna be doing a new PC build. In this video, I'm just gonna be going over some of the parts for this new build featuring the Ryzen 9 7950X. That's right, folks, decisions have been made and we're gonna be going AMD. So we're gonna be talking about all the parts that are gonna be in this build, which you'll be seeing a video for posted to the channel later this week. So stay tuned for that. And in the background, I'm gonna be sharing with you <clears throat> excuse me, some Dead Space 3 gameplay from over the weekend, which I was playing because I was not going to be playing in the Callisto Protocol. Even with the latest patch, it is still a stuttery mess. They have addressed some of the stutters. It is still absolutely nowhere near perfect. And to be honest, the gameplay isn't even as good as Dead Space 3. I really got sucked back into Dead Space 3. I was having a good time. Is it as good as the first two? Hell no but I was having a good time. Maybe worth picking up on the cheap if you could find it. So let's get into the PC build. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22. And then you can unlock the prestigious dark mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply. And that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's gonna be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page and it will update in a matter of seconds, or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and typing the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. Now, as I said at the start, the main component that really needed to be upgraded here was the CPU. So the big choice came down to, was it Ryzen 9 7950X or the 13900K? Honestly, looking at the two side by side, it was completely splitting hairs. And just to be completely transparent about the whole thing, AMD sent me a Ryzen 9 7950X. I wasn't sampled at the uh, review times for them or contacted about it. Unfortunately, whatever limited samples and all of that kind of stuff, but going into the upcoming 7900 graphics card launches. They wanted to make sure all the tech press was sorted out with the latest and greatest in processors in order to be able to fully leverage these graphics cards. So they hooked your boy up with a Ryzen 9 7950X, which made my choice pretty darn easy. If push came to shove and I had to buy one of these parts, I may have probably gone Intel only, and that mean that is no disrespect to AMD and their parts. It's simply out of a case of familiarity. I've been using Intel CPUs in my main rigs for like over 10 years now. So it would really just be for loyalty and familiarity um, and the fear of the unknown with, with you know, some, some cases that could happen with, you know, just switching platforms and all that. But, you know, the Ryzen 9 7950X, nothing to sneeze at, and it is a extremely equal competitor to 13900K, and I am ecstatic to be putting this into my new system. 16 cores, 32 threads is going to be a massive upgrade for me, especially for video editing workloads, and then the speed of these new Ryzen cores and all that, and the extra cores and threads, throwing these at these new graphics cards and testing on the upcoming 7900 cards and doing some, uh, going back and doing some testing again on the RTX 40 series for the comparisons with that. 
very excited to jump all into it for you guys before reviews go out in not too too long of a time, honestly. Moving on with the motherboard, which was also uh, supply. Also, oh, by the way, before we move on, 7950Xs are on sale right now on Amazon. Links for everything is going to be down in the description below. Uh, for you, I was trying to look around. I mostly did all Amazon links except for the motherboard, which was a lot cheaper on Newegg. Uh, so, you know, look around to see what the best price you can get. But the, right now, the Ryzen 9 7950X is $573.99. Uh, down from $7.99 when it launched just a couple of months ago with some of these holiday sales. So AMD's been cutting some prices on their parts. So definitely a good time to jump on it if you are looking to get a CPU upgrade. I believe pretty much all of the new Ryzen parts on the 7000 series are being discounted right now. So check into it if it's something you've been waiting uh, to pick up. For the motherboard, which was also sent out to me by AMD, they sent over the ASRock X670E Tai Chi AM5 motherboard with full DDR5 support. So that's awesome. We're going to be on the top tier platform here. Not the most expensive of all the motherboards, but honestly, as an X670E motherboard, it is a very, very pricey, and it is the flagship board for ASRock on the X670E AM5 platform. So it's coming in at $500. Uh, you know, like I said, links for everything will be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and check those out. They're affiliate links, so it helps me out if you use them. But the uh, X670E uh, Tai Chi, when I, from when I, I, looked, I watched uh, Wendell's review over on Level 1 Tech, Tech, and he seemed extremely happy with the board. And so far, pretty much everything I've heard about the features on the board look to be solid, so I'm happy to be using it uh, in my system. Only one thing I would really change is maybe the aesthetic of this, like, there's like a gold or like copper colored, like, stripe going down the left side of the board but it's not that big a deal honestly i'm not going to complain about a free 500 hundred dollar motherboard that looks awesome and like i said it's got full ddr5 support for the memory which is really cool as well as since it's an x670e board that means i have the full pcie5 support as well for you know pcie5 cards and, and you know nvmes in the future and stuff to be able to utilize that so a little bit of a future proofing over for over the next two three years that I'll probably re be using this as my main rig. Speaking of DDR5, AMD also sent over some G-Skill Trident Z5 Neo series with AMD Expo support, which is awesome. Uh, it's a 16, it's a, sorry, it's two 16 gigabyte sticks. So it's uh, gonna be 32 gigabytes at 6,000 megahertz. And that is something that I will uh, add two more sticks of my own. I'll just, I wanted to wait until I got the RAM to see what I was getting. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to go ahead and order two more sticks of that in the very near future and add it into the rig probably by the end of the year. But 32 gigs will be absolutely fine for getting us off the ground and running, especially at 6,000 megahertz. And I've never had any issues with G-Skill products in the past. So I'm excited to have this in my, in my uh, the new, new PC and also excited that it doesn't have any RGB. That's always a plus in my book. So that covers a lot of the key components that go into the PC. Also, we got to talk about graphics card. I, also, I've got case, power supply, all that stuff uh, coming tomorrow, actually. But graphics card wise, that is another question mark. You know, that's something I'm not going to know the answer for for probably about another 10 days or so or within the next 10 days or so, I guess you could say, as the seven, the uh, 7900 graphics cards from AMD are going to be coming out. So it's really going to be between the uh, 7900 XTX for me or the RTX 4090. I've already got an RTX 4090, and I cannot confirm nor deny whether or not I have a 7900 XTX, but essentially for me, I always like to be on the te the best graphics card available at the time. So, you know, come about 10 days or so from now, that's when I'll have to make my final decision. If I'm being honest, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably gonna end up being the 4090. Let's just be honest. It's, they've already said this, the XTX is not targeting the 4090. So I would be extremely shocked if it came out of the $1,000 and buried the RTX 4090 from NVIDIA. I think we would all be very surprised if we saw that happen. But hey, if they did, I'd be the first one to say, slap that XTX right inside this all new AMD build that I just stuck up with the 7950X. Boy! Continuing on from there, we've also got to talk about the case power supply and other stuff like that. For all of those components, Be Quiet was kind enough to hook me up with a bunch of stuff to round out this build as I've been working with, with them for a few years and I've been using Be Quiet as a case for the past few years with my 9900K. Also, my uh, I have also have a test setup still with an 8700K, which has been retired, but it's been at my second uh, PC setup for quite some time now. So it's nice to be sticking with them for all of these core components here uh, for the upcoming build here. So for the case, I'm gonna go with the Be Quiet Dark Base 700 as it is an awesome looking 
mid-tower, really clean looking builds coming out of this thing. I've done a couple, I've done at least at least one in the past actually, don't wanna say a couple, I've done at least one in this case and I've built in several other Be Quiet cases as well over the past probably I'd say five, six years I've been using them uh, almost exclusively like for personal systems that I use and recommend to friends because they're just really excellent quality and I love using them and looking forward to maybe seeing Be Quiet at CES also next year. Might be going for CES in 2023. I haven't really decided yet, but you know, maybe we'll get to see them as well and see what else they're working on coming out. So looking forward to getting building in that. For the power supply, this was like a huge question on my mind, honestly. I'm currently running a Be Quiet 1000 watt power supply, and pardon me for not remembering the exact model name uh, of that power supply, but it's been absolutely great for me. Even has been fine with the RTX 4090 at 1000 watts. The 7950X though is a bit more power hungry. Those things can get up to, I think it's 230 watts. So a bit more power hungry, um, you know, than the 9900K. So I just wanted to give myself a little bit of headroom there. And who's no, who knows what's going to happen next generation. Maybe with the next generation of uh, RTX cards, they're going to have like two 12 VHPWR connectors on there. In which case, I'll at least be set up with a 1500 watt power supply. Although... If that if they ended up probably doing that, I would probably need like a, a new power supply anyway to be able to power two of those connectors. So who knows what NVIDIA is going to do on the 5000 series in a couple of years, but hopefully this thing will at least get me through a couple generations of graphics cards and maybe some upgrades down, down the road with 1500 watts of power because I'm going with the Be Quiet Dark Pro 12 1500 watt uh, 80 plus titanium efficiency power supply. So it's going to have absolutely more than enough power than I'm going to need for t testing 4090, 700 XTX, and anything else to come down the pipe for the next few years. I would hope so. And it's got one, two, three, four, I believe it looks like five PCIe connectors. So definitely enough for those 12 VHPWR connectors and any other drives and things that I want to hook up to this thing. So definitely looking forward to slapping that inside the dark base 700 for the cooling i'm also sticking with be quiet and for the first time using one of their liquid coolers i'm no stranger to doing videos and testing out and builds with their with their uh their air coolers but for 7950x i definitely felt the need to throw uh, a pretty hefty all-in-one edit so we're going with the be quiet pure loop 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler i'm currently in my build i'm using a fractal s36 so that's also a 360 millimeter and that's served me well for the past few years but happy to be finally getting to use a be quiet one uh, in my in my system here as they have moved in the past few years or so working on getting out all-in-one coolers and all of that since i got my 9900k so definitely looking forward to trying that out here on the 7950x and then to round out the build after that, I'm also going to be getting some of their new fans, which I saw uh, Jay's Two Cents not that long ago, maybe about a month, month and a half ago or so, uh, review Be Quiet's new Silent Wings Pro 4 fans, which look absolutely incredible, solid black and everything, uh, and really quiet and quite adaptable to different uh, mounting scenarios, like for all-in-ones or, you know, mounting in cases and things. So yeah, if you're curious about them, check out Jay's Two Cents review on them. It sounds like they got some really impressive stuff on them. So I'm going to use that to kit out the rest of the build, you know, replace the, the stock rear fan and front fans in the chassis to just make it as quiet and as, you know, you know, S tier as possible and just have the absolute best build that I can possibly have going in to the end of the year and carrying us into 2023. So that's all of the components and everything that I have planned. A lot of hard drives and stuff I'm not gonna cover because most of it's just gonna be, you know, recycled out of my 9900K build because it's a lot of production stuff and gaming drives. So it's really not gonna need any major upgrades. But I do have a PCIe Gen 4 uh, NVMe kicking around that's going to be like stupid fast anyway. It's just something I've never, it's something that I've used in AMD builds when doing reviews for Ryzen stuff, but I've never really stuck it in my system because I didn't need the Gen 4 and everything. So at least I, I got a two terabyte, one of those that I'm going to put in there for the boot drive. So I'll have the extra speed of that uh, for my boot drive. And then everything else is just pretty much going to be recycled uh, out of the old build. So didn't really feel the need to go over all the drives as I don't even know what half of them are uh, I'm off the top of my head, honestly. So that's the new PC build here for the end of the year. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As I said at the start, 
links for everything down in the description. Uh, pretty much mostly over to Amazon, as that'll uh, you know give me give me a couple bucks if you guys buy anything when you're over there, even if it's not what you click on. Even if you need to buy a new gardening hose, if you click on my Amazon link for the uh, uh, Ryzen 9 7950X and go buy a bunch of garden hoses and the lawn gnomes. I don't know why I'm thinking about gardening and outdoors from your house, but you know whatever you need, man, like rock salt for snow or some shovels, galoshes, you know, getting ready for the winter months. Buy any of that stuff after you click my link. Still helps me out, and I get a few pennies here or there, but the pennies add up. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Catch you next time for another video, and uh, yeah, peace.